Okay, so we're looking at Glaucoma heterosea, which is commonly known as ground ivy or ale hoof, also creeping charlie or gill over the ground. And this is a mint family member. It's native to Europe and Southeast Asia, but it was brought to North America. Uh, it is a creeping plant and it's rhizomatous, so it throws roots and continues to spread over the ground. I'll show you how much this has taken over this small space. It grows all over everything. <laughs> it loves uh, fertile soil, moist, very moist soil. It prefers shade, but it will grow in the sun. It will grow anywhere. Um, in fact, you can see it in my, my lawn here. It just keeps going. And it is, uh, let me get a close up. It has uh, these fan-shaped leaves. Uh, they have the round tooth edges, so you can see. Oh, I have a snap of this too, so you can get a little clearer picture. But you'll see the round toothing. Uh, the leaves can be round to crenate. So I think in, in different regions, the plant may appear slightly different. Uh, it has clusters of flowers, usually two to three. Uh, on opposing sides, they're just very small flowers, and they're usually bluish to lavender. These come out in the spring towards the tip of the plant, so a lot of what you'll see initially on the ground is more like these small sprouts here without any flowers, but eventually they, these will come out in the springtime. And it's a very strong smelling plant, so if you walk over these, you'll, you'll know it's got, uh, not, not really minty, but it's a very similarly strong smell. Okay, and I've taken a few pictures. Uh, here are a few close-ups of the leaves and flowers. You can see a lot of detail up close that help identify it from other lookalikes, like the mallows or wild violets. Um, they're, they're small enough to be confused for ground ivy. Ground ivy is a square stem, uh, like a lot of mint family members, and the pairs of flowers that show up in the spring really help pick it out from its neighbors. As for uses of ground ivy, it has been used for a very long time as a pot herb and in medicinal applications, and it even makes a good vegetarian rennet substitute. The name alehoof came from the Saxons, in fact, who used the plant before hops to clarify beer. As a spice, it's really good on meats, uh, in soups and pastas, and a handful makes a really nice addition to salads for extra flavor. Uh, too much uh, might be <laughs> more, than, more than you want. Uh, you can dry the plant for tea as well. Ground ivy and herbalism is well known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Ground ivy has a history of being used for lung issues, uh, they, they've called it a lung herb, and uh, it has a uh, kind of a mild um, tonic effect for digestive disorders, uh, so people will take it for stomach issues, and uh, I find it to be uh, a cooling herb, so uh, it would be good uh, when, when you've... Um, at uh, food that's leaving you uh, overheated or feeling um, swollen, uh, maybe some mild allergic reactions. Uh, I, I find it especially useful in those cases. And uh, it makes, uh, a re it really is a pretty pleasant tasting, <laughs> so it, it goes down pretty well. Anti-inflammatory properties have actually been uh, proven in the lab. Um, they did a, a test with rats, of course, <laughs> And uh, it, they found that it did have um, significant anti-inflammatory properties. And the main components responsible for those are uh, the flavonoids and the rosmarinic acid. Um, surprisingly, the rosmarinic acid is higher in ground ivy than in rosemary. So it's a very potent herb. It's also rich in vitamin C, uh, and so a, a tea of ground ivy is a, a great uh, way of getting extra vitamin C. It does have a negative reputation just for its uh, very prolific weed-like properties. Um, as I mentioned, it, it grows everywhere and um, people have found that the the only way to really successfully uh, wipe it out without manually ripping it up is using um, borax, just pouring it on the plant, which is 
pretty surprising. It's very, very hardy. Um, I often find some of it uh, still growing under the snow um, in the spring. So it's a very strong plant, very useful in a lot of ways, uh, tastes good in a lot of dishes, and it's uh, very helpful uh, in medicinal remedies. So that's ground ivy. Uh, I hope you go out and find some in your backyard today.